Hello everybody, it's Ruby and today I have a fabulous finds for you all. I am so incredibly sorry for missing last week's uploads, but let me just give you a quick rundown as to what was going on and then we'll get right into the video. So I am currently on my school spring break right now. We actually get about two weeks for spring break and so for the first couple of days I went on a trip to New York with some of my friends from school. It was like a school plan trip. So we went to New York and it was super, super fun. But then as soon as I got there, I stupidly realized that I had forgotten to pre-film any videos, which is so unlike me. Usually I always remember to pre-film videos. But leading up to spring break, school was just so crazy, life was just so hectic, it just kind of slipped my mind. And then as soon as I got back from New York, I got really, really sick. I have some weird like cold allergy thing that's going on right now, so I'm still a little stuffed up so if I sound like I'm nasal and I'm talking through my nose. That's why, and it also left me with a really, really fun cough, so that's awesome. But today I decided to do my hair, do my makeup, kind of dress a little spunky, and film a video for you guys because I owe it to you all to now get back to posting and filming regularly. And since I'm on spring break, I'm going to be filming a bunch of videos for you all this week even though I am still not feeling 100%. I feel like I have been getting sick quite a bit recently, which is really unlike me, so I'm hoping that this like cold, allergy, whatever it is, just kind of gets out of my system pretty quick because I am over being sick, you guys. It is just it is not fun. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the four beauty items that I have purchased recently. I've kind of stopped buying makeup recently um, just because I, Lord knows I have enough. Um, and I've kind of been more into like building my closet rather than building my makeup collection, if that makes any sense just because I really do have enough. I mean, the only thing that I kind of really need are just some new brushes, um, which I'm slowly but surely starting to collect. Um, but the first thing that I picked up is this NYX Liquid Suede Liquid Lipstick in the color Soft Spoken. This is the fifth NYX um, liquid lipstick that I have purchased. I absolutely love these. I have a review up on my channel if you guys want to go watch that. However, this is the one color that I have not been able to get my hands on. Everybody has been trying to nab this color. And I finally found it at my Target that's right by my house. So I picked it up as soon as I saw it and I have been wearing it almost every single day. I say that as I'm wearing a red lipstick right now. Um, but honestly, I have been wearing this every single day recently. It is such a beautiful um, brown nude, but it's not brown to the point that it's like overpowering. It's very nice. Kind of has some dusty rose undertones to it as well, which I think is super flattering on like any and all skin tone. Then I picked up three things from e.l.f. Two of which being new brushes. The first is their Flawless Concealer Brush, which is just a really nice fluffy um, concealer brush, um, which I actually don't use it for that, which is like really weird, I know. But I use it for one of two things. One, I use it for setting uh, powder on kind of like smaller areas, so either like under my eyes to set my concealer, around my nose, stuff like that. I also use it to highlight my cheekbones and like the high points of my face. My face is very small, so I feel like this is a great brush for me, and I just really like it. And then I picked up the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. So I actually own three of these, and now this is my fourth, um, but I, I like to have a lot of these because it's a great multi-use brush. I love using this for cream blushes. Uh, just to put on the apples of your cheeks. I think it works absolutely like beautifully. But I really, 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 really love this for foundation, BB cream, and tinted moisturizer application. And lastly, I got something that I am so excited for. I got the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette, which first of all, can we talk about this packaging? Like, this matte black has got me feeling in some type of way. I have seen everybody talking about this, everybody wanting to know what they think about it, everybody saying that they like it, a few people saying that they're not fans. So I wanted to check it out for myself. Um, I don't really know if I'm gonna do like a full on review of it, uh, just because I don't know how much I could talk about it, but I will say I've tried it out a couple times over spring break and I absolutely adore this product. So what I love about this palette is as soon as you open it up, there is a giant mirror, which is absolutely amazing, especially if you take this while traveling, like this can function as like your mirror that you use to apply your makeup every day. Um, it's awesome. I really, really, I would totally recommend buying the product for the mirror alone. It's literally such a great mirror. It's such a weird thing to like obsess over, but I just, I think it's great. Then the palette itself comes with four stunning highlight colors. Um, there's like this white pearl color, a pink champagne color, 
a darker kind of like champagne-y color, but it's a little darker, and then this really lovely peach color. All of these highlights are incredibly beautiful. The shine, the sheen that they give, I totally think that these could be a dupe for some sort of high-end highlighter. I absolutely love this palette. It's so stunning. I've also recently been really into using these colors on my lid as well on the days that I don't really want to wear an eye color but I want a little bit of shimmer, something that when the light hits it, it'll make your eyes just pop and sparkle and I just absolutely love this palette. So great job e.l.f. I think that everything about this is amazing. I know that they also came out with a contouring palette which I believe all the colors in there are matte so I'm definitely going to go pick that up soon because I've also been really into contouring recently. Um, but all in all. I think it's a great product, highly recommend it. It was like only $6, it's it's the best. Okay, so moving on to the clothes portion of this Fabulous Finds video. Um, like I said, I just recently went to New York. I didn't really get anything there because I live there while I'm not in school. So like, I go up there enough that like, I didn't really feel the need to buy anything. However, we did go to NYU one day and I have already been there for like my college tour. Um, and last time I was there, I bought like a sweatshirt from them because NYU is like one of my top schools and I love like comfy college merch. And I absolutely have, have been like obsessing over the sweatshirt that I bought there last October because it is so soft and it's so comfortable. So when we went back to NYU with my school, I got three pieces of their merchandise. So the first thing that I got from the NYU like merch store was this just really comfy pink t-shirt. I'm a big fan of t-shirts to lounge around in, to work out in, to wear out. I mean, I just, uh, t-shirts are great. So I got this bright pink one and in white it says, New York University established 1831. I just think it's super cute. At first I thought about cutting it up, but I just, I don't know, I really like it. I just like, boxy t-shirts like this. I just think they're really cute and it's pink and white so <clears throat> okay I just had a coughing fit but anyways I picked up this t-shirt. I really like it and I think it's just really cute and comfy. And then kind of sticking with the pink theme I also got this hoodie. I love hoodies. They're just they're the best. Um, it's gray and then it's also in pink. It says in pink font New York University established 1831. Um, so it's super cute. has a hood. I got it kind of oversized because who doesn't love a good oversized hoodie. Lastly I wanted to get something with the standard like purple and white NYU you know colors on it so um, I got this again oversized it kind of looks like a um, oh shoot what's it called like a like a spirit jersey except it's a lot thicker and it's a lot warmer so it's purple and white and it just says NYU on it and then on one sleeve it says 18 and then on the other sleeve it says 31 um, it has a little emblem here. I just think it's super super cute I got it in a medium and this is like super oversized on me and so this is really weird But when I tried it on um, it hits me like mid knee and like I don't know This might look so weird I might just end up using this mostly just for lounging around and stuff because it is so oversized but I thought that this might look really cute as kind of like a jersey dress. I don't know. I just think it's really cute. And you know, like the whole like sports athletic wear um, trend is so large right now, especially for the spring. Um, I don't know. I just thought that maybe with a pair of like sneaker heels or something like that, this would look so flipping adorable. But anyways, I picked this up, absolutely love it, and uh, super comfy. So yay NYU, thanks for making some great merch. The last thing I got while I was in New York, I really didn't pick up that much. Usually I do a ton of shopping because this was a school trip. I was kind of like, eh, doesn't matter. Um, we went to go see a ton of shows, all of which, which was kind of funny, I had already seen before. So um, that was really cool. I always enjoy seeing shows multiple times um, on Broadway. Um, but one of the shows we saw, um, which it was, um, I had already seen it before, like I said, we saw Finding Neverland, and that is one of my favorite shows. It is such a stunning show. I'm seeing it again this summer. I'm going to buy myself another ticket. I just absolutely love the show so much. So I picked up a Finding Neverland t-shirt just to add to my collection of Broadway merchandise because I'm a musical theater geek and I can't stop. Seriously, somebody help me. Um, yesterday I went to the mall and I just picked up a couple things, um, one of which I actually really needed. I needed some new pairs of leggings because I was looking in my like closet and stuff and I just realized my leggings were getting kind of old. Um, so I went to Charlotte Russe and they were having a deal where it was buy two pairs of leggings for 12 bucks um, and they're each individually $9. So you save a couple dollars, which is nice. 
Um, so I just got these black cotton uh, full length leggings from Charlotte Russe. Um, I absolutely love these leggings. I don't know what it is about the Charlotte Russe like cotton leggings, but they make your legs and your butt look so good. And they just hug you in all the right places. They're super comfy, they're soft, they're stretchy, they're breathable. I wear them almost every day. I think I probably have about eight pairs of these, not even gonna lie, and that's not even the full leggings collection. Like you guys, it's an addiction. I didn't have that much time afterwards just because I only had a little bit of time at the mall, but I did stop at Forever 21 and I bought two shirts. So I will show you all those. The first of which being this really cute gray little crop top. Um, I have the, I believe it's uh, like a, it's like an oatmeal color of this, um, a little bit more tan than oatmeal actually. But what's cool about that one is it's actually a V-neck crop top. It's super cute. This one just has a little scoop neck. I think it's still super adorable. Really, really soft. Uh, if you need reference, I got it in a small. Fits me great. Really stretchy. Really soft. I don't know what just happened to my <laughs> voice there. That was. That was really weird. And then the other shirt that I got, I am absolutely obsessed with this and I will tell you all why. So it is this cropped t-shirt with um, like a cream background and then this uh, red like, I don't know what to call it, like rimming on the t-shirt? Is that even a word? Oh god, it's probably not. Um, but it, the red just outlines the collar of the shirt and then the sleeves. Um, and then in this kind of faded font, it says Happy Camper. And like I said, it's cropped. I think that this would be super cute even to just wear with black leggings and white converse and call it a day. I think that would be super, super cute. I'll probably actually do that. Um, but I love this t-shirt for many reasons. One, I just really love the color of it. I don't really own that much red. Um, and I just really like how it has like not too much, but it's really cute. I also think it's so soft and it makes your, um, it makes your body look really, really good as well. I really like the cut of the shirt. but. The main reason why I got this um, is because if any of you all are fans of Jim Gaffigan, the comedian, he does this bit about uh, the saying, happy camper, and it is literally the funniest thing ever. And so as soon as I saw this t-shirt, it instantly reminded me of that little bit, and so I just had to buy it. Um, so that's kind of the reason behind me purchasing this shirt, but I still really, really like it. Actually, I think it's super cute. Lastly, for the clothes, I went to Target right before I left for New York, and their dresses were buy one, get one 50% off, like all the brands of dresses that they have at Target. So I got two dresses just because I had to give away a lot of mine just because I wasn't feeling the collection of dresses that I had. So the first dress that I got is from Massimo Supply, and I got mine in a small again for reference, and it's this really cute black, um, open shoulder dress. Does that make sense? I hope so. It's, it's really, really pretty. It has a slip underneath too because it is see-through, so I really like that a slip um, was included in the dress. Um, but it's really cute, really flowy, very bohemian, has bell sleeves, um, and then it's just like their cutouts um, on the shoulder, which I think is super, super flattering. Um, the dress is Hits you about like mid thigh. It's on the shorter side. But I I really really like that. I mean, it's not super short. It's just like definitely not like a midi or a maxi dress if that's what you're looking for. Or find something else. Um, and then it just ties in the front. Last dress that I got is from Exhilaration. And when I saw this though, my eye I was just like, oh my god, that's stunning. And it immediately reminded me of something from Free People, which I think is definitely probably where Target like pulled this inspiration from. I'm gonna warn you all now. I absolutely love this dress, but it is very 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 short. I am 5'7", um, and it is just about at that length that I can like get away with it, it's safe, nothing's gonna be exposed, but if you're any taller than 5'7", I would say unfortunately you have to pass up this dress. Um, but it is absolutely stunning, it's this beautiful pink, uh, like, peach rose color. Um, and the top half is all lace, um, it's not see-through, obviously, because we wouldn't want the girls showing. Um, the sleeves are see-through, but not the actual, like, body part of the dress. The sleeves are long, and then they flare out, if you guys can tell. They just definitely have, like, a bit of movement to it. Um, and then the second half of the dress is this stunning floral pattern incorporating peach, purple, uh, and different shades of pink and a little bit of yellow. Um, and then it just buttons up, um right around the chest area. Like I said, definitely is a little bit on the shorter side. So if you're taller than 5'7", say sorry, thanks, but no thanks to this dress. Lastly, I got a pair of shoes. 
and I am so excited about these shoes. I picked these up at DSW. Um, I had a gift card there. Um, that I totally forgot about um, and these shoes happened to be on sale and I've been eyeing them for forever and then they finally went on sale and they were only like $30 originally like close to a hundred I believe um, but they're from BCBG generation and they you guys might have seen them on my Instagram I, I posted it quite a while ago I bought these shoes like a month ago I just haven't had enough clothing items to like uh, do a fabulous find with so I couldn't include these shoes until now um, but they are these stunning red pumps um, with a uh, like pretty small heel actually this is probably the smallest pair of heels that I own <laughs> honestly um, and then they just wrap up the ankle and they have um, these gorgeous like gold studs on them these kind of shoes I don't really know like the formal name so I'm really sorry but this style of shoe has been like all over social media recently um, and I just really like them I've never been a fan of pointy toed shoes but there's something about these that just looks so classy and classic. Um, I think that you could wear these with a pair of black jeans. I think you could wear this with a cute, um, short, you know, party evening dress. Um, I just think that there are so many different ways to style these. Plus, they match my red lipstick, so yay! Okay, guys, and that concludes my fabulous finds. I feel like I did a lot of talking in this video, but honestly, I just, like, I missed you guys so much like last week when I didn't have any videos to upload and then I wanted to film a couple videos a few days ago but I was just so sick and like there was no way that I could have like filmed a video that I was proud of I really hope that you all enjoyed please subscribe help me get to a thousand it would mean the world to me follow me on all my social media networks links are always in the down bar below um, like I said leave me any video requests that you all have in the comment section down below and I hope that you all are having an awesome day night evening whenever you guys are watching this and I will talk to you all in my next video bye guys